Hello, Ace Nation. I am longtime independent wrestling fan Robert. Mercury Rising 2017 is in the history books, and what a great show it was. The action began with the God of Drivers, Everett Cross, defeating the Fallen Guardian, Johnny Angel. Second matchup, we saw a six-man tag team match as the Golden Showers, Ultima Maya, Prince Akhenaten, and Black Zemis defeated the Beach Bums, Brody, Crawford, and I forgot the third guy's name. Next up, we saw the Adonis, Howard, Howie Timbershay, who, unlike, this, unlike last show, was not singing to the ring, as he defeated Jason Vara. Or is it Vara? Next up, we saw the return of the Midnight Sensations, who had not been seen in Ace since late last year, and apparently are now dodgeball fanatics. I thought those were actually colorful soccer balls they were carrying to the ring at first. And uh, they defeated Team Tag. I don't believe this, is, this was um, the original Team Tag. I think one of the original guys has a, a new partner. Very good matchup on both teams' part. And then up we had a four-way match which saw the lit future Sebastian Cage defeat Evander James, Brooklyn Outlaw Mike Donovan, and wrestling's richest prize Darius Carter to retain the Fight for Flight championship. Next up we saw the hired gun Tom O'Malley defeat the Black Diamond. Then in a uh, then up next we saw Steve Pena and Jorge Santi challenge Ricky and Aiden, the Duke boys, for the Tag Team Championship. During the bout, out of the blue, the Devil's Outlaw Stockade, who had not been seen in Ace since losing to Monster Mac back in March at Destined for Greatness, he uh, hits uh, Ricky with a DDT on the floor before leaving, and as a result, uh, Steve Penny and Jorge Santi then capitalized on Aiden, and as a result, Pena and Santi are now the new Ace Tag Team Champions, and uh, Santi only... I believe he only debuted for the company a few months ago, and this is now Steve Pena's second taste of tag team gold in Ace Pro Wrestling. Up next, we saw a woman's action as Nadi defeated Willow Nightingale. This originally was supposed to be a four-way match. I'm guessing Vanity and uh, Hale Koto were unable to appear. Then we saw Adam Payne rebound from his loss to Vince Steele last month as he defeated uh, Nikos Rikos. And then in the main event, we saw Astro Morales and Salvio Vega defeat Vince Steele and Crowbar. And it was a pretty good matchup, and the crowd really enjoyed it, and really great happy ending. I was shocked to see Salvio come out to an instrumental version of one of Ramstein's songs. Okay, so personal notes time. It was uh, great talking with Kenny before the show, before they opened the door. Very surprised that the... Uh, the door was not open because I got there, arrived just before 7.30, and surprisingly, they had still had not let the people in. Uh, let's see. Great show without heavyweight champ Danny Moff. Great show without Diamond Division champion Anthony Gangone. Uh, for those wondering, there will be a Pasta Night with Karaoke on Saturday night, June the 17th. Uh, I will not be there myself, but I sure hope they will have karaoke again at a later date, because I certainly want to take part in that. And Ace Pro Wrestling returns on Saturday night, July the 1st, as they present Heat Wave. Now, just days before Mercury Rising took place, it was announced that Ricky Reyes would be making his return to Ace Pro Wrestling as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Mike Donovan at Heat Wave. Now, I'd like to see Danny Moff go one-on-one -on -one with Vince Steele. Uh, the new tag team champions, Steve Pena and Jorge Santi against the Duke boys. Or if not, have a, a tag team from another promotion come in and challenge for those newly won belts. Maybe since the four-way women's match didn't happen at Mercury Rising, maybe try to have it at Heat Wave. I like, sure would have loved to have seen a four-way match. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe uh, Astro Morales one-on-one -on -one with Crowbar. Uh, perhaps Adam Payne against TJ Marconi could finally happen this time. 
Mm. I'm sure Sebastian Cage will be defending the Fight for Flight Championship as well. Uh, I mean, I, I really enjoyed enjoyed this very show, and huh, man, just I never know what they're gonna do next. But I I will say, great great show to help me celebrate. Now, 11 years of supporting American Championship Entertainment. Oh, actually, no. Okay, I'd like to see a return match between the Black Diamond and Tom O'Malley. And does anyone know what Tom O'Malley came out to? What was that song, that instrumental tune that he came out to? I didn't, didn't, didn't know what it was. And, oh, hopefully the Devil's Outlaw Stockade will make it. I'd like to see him make his in-ring return at Heat Wave. Okay. Ace Pro Wrestling is awesome. 